how can I know what plans God has for me? I think this is where a, a Christian can get themselves a little bit maybe frustrated or maybe discouraged because they they feel as though God's not personal enough or, or God's not paying close enough attention to their life when it's really the, the opposite is true. Uh, we get caught up in in our own plans and in how we're trying to do life. But really God's plans is, a, is taking a look at the bigger picture. So if we take a look at God's plans for us and the bigger picture is this, God desires that all people come to repentance or God desires that all people come to know him as their personal savior. That's part of the plan that God has for your life. And so if you've arrived at that, that's wonderful because that's part of God's plan. God's plan is also that you get involved with a local church and you begin being a part of that local church. You begin serving there. You're giving financially. You are using your gifts, your spiritual gifts there. I call it time, talents, and treasures. You're utilizing and investing in that local church. That is God's plan for you. Uh, see, a lot of times when we're struggling with God's plan, we're, we're typically believers, yes, but we're not being obedient. And see, when we're not being obedient, it's going to be very hard to see the next step for us in the Christian life. We're going to want to want God to be almost like the magic genie where we rub the lamp and he comes out and says, what do you need? And that's really a faulty view of Christianity. You see, God's plans are already laid out for us. His plan is for us to, what, be a disciple of him, be a disciple of Jesus Christ. So salvation and now getting involved with the local church, serving, caring for one another. You see, as you do those things and as you submit yourself to those things, your journey becomes even more clear. The things that you get to experience the adventure that you get to live becomes 4K or now 8K. I think there's the TVs that are out there now. HD quality. Why? Because you're doing things the way God wants you to. Don't allow yourself down the path of, I have no idea what God wants me to do. That isn't true. Don't believe that lie. It's very clear what God wants you to do. It's to be involved with your church connect there, serve there. And as you do that, God will begin to reveal the next step for you. Another way is uh, people have this, what's what's my, what's my God's plan for me at work? I, I'm not sure if this is the job I should stay in or what I should do. The Bible is just crystal clear. It's simple that whatever you do, do all for the glory of God. Meaning I will work hard. I will put my best foot forward and I'll do everything required of me at work. And I'll, I'll be that person that shows up on time. I'll be that person that works hard. You see, for in doing that, you stop uh, staying in that land of what is it that God wants me to do? And promotion comes, opportunities come, doors and windows begin being open to you. Why? Because you're doing things God's way. So remember that when you think of what is, what's the next thing for me? What's God's plan for me? I'm not really sure. Don't just stay there. Actually get on moving and get involved at church. Understand what your role is at work and work hard. Understand what your role is at home. We didn't even talk about that aspect of what God's plans are for you at home and the roles, husband, wife, kids, all those are God's plan for you. And as you follow that, you will begin to have satisfaction, contentment, and peace, and truly enjoyment. And as you go through your life that way, you will look back and say, wow, look at the awesome plans that God had for me as I've been living for him and following him. God bless. Mm -hmm.